Welcome to 12th Man Studios. It's an exciting week for Texas A&M men's basketball. I'm Will Johnson. They are getting ready for their season opener on Friday night against Northwestern State, but at the same time, preparing for their future. It is signing day, and A&M will ink three newcomers to their program. We have with us right now head coach Billy Kennedy, and thanks so much for taking the time, as always. Well, it's a good time of the year. <laughs> Excitement yeah. building, uh, a lot of things. Practice, <laughs> recruiting, all these things, it's all in one. Yeah, the, the cycle never stops for no, you guys. It's, it's time, <laughs> now, now it's time to get ready to play games, but we're excited about the class we got coming in right now. Certainly, and, and the group as a whole, we'll get to each individual, mm -hmm. but the group as a whole, what particularly has you excited about them? One, we we know them. You know, Savion Flagg and Isaiah J.C., we've recruited them for a couple of years now. Isaiah probably the longest and Savion the longest. And um, and they're really, really good players. And then T.J. Starks has got a, a guy that is just kind of busted on the scene last spring and this summer. And he's a guy I think people are going to be excited to watch. Another Dallas guard coming in and with that kind of toughness that we, we need and what we've had in the past. And then breaking them down, starting with Savion Flagg, 6'7", uh, out of Alvin, Texas, down there in the Houston Savion area. just keeps getting better. He's 6'7", uh, he can play any guard position, he can play the forward position. Uh, he's very skilled and talented, great passer, can score, um, and, and he's, a, he's a young, he'll be a young, true freshman when he comes in, and, and the thing is, he's getting better every day, and he's probably the highest ranked kid that we, we've got, and we don't really get into rankings, but He's, he's just a, he's a guy that can do a lot of things to help you win, and he's a good kid with, from a good family, and we're excited to have him. T.J. Starks, as we move on, you mentioned Dallas area. A guard calls his hometown Lancaster, Texas. Lancaster has been good good for us. I mean, a good program. They've won state he won a state championship uh, last year, and he's a left-handed guard that looks like he should be run, playing tailback sometimes. He's just <laughs> real physical. Can get in the paint and score. Can score from outside. Can play the one. Can play the two. Um, just a tough kid that uh, we, we're excited to have. And Isaiah J.C. from Colleen, Texas, six nine, and can he help down low in the post? He's a he is. That's what he is. He's a post player. He reminds me a lot of Tyler in a different way. He knows he's a post player. He can run rim to rim. He's very athletic. Rebounds above the. Uh, rim and he, he's really aggressive and got good toughness and it's been fun to watch him play the last few years he's gotten better every year this program at Sunrise is a national program and uh, he's going to get a lot of exposure this year to some really good players and when I just actually saw him recently and he, he's playing really well right now. You've had to answer a lot of questions about what you lost from a season ago four really good seniors but when you think about the young guys on this team coming up and this group that you just signed, I wouldn't think the future is a whole lot of concern for you considering the talent. No, <laughs> you look at the three we got coming in and you got J.J. Caldwell sitting out that they'll be practicing with us in, in the next couple of weeks. So um, you throw him in that class and maybe one other perimeter player if, if we sign one more. You're talking about five guys, it'll be another top 15, top 20 class. And we've been able to do that the last few years. Uh, you talk Robert Williams, who's been an impact guy, and Eric Avila, people will see he, he'll be an impact guy this year. We've got really good young players and a, a great future ahead of us. Yeah, you, you ink these guys today and you look ahead, but the immediate future has you at Reed Arena Friday night. It's the season opener coming off a sweet 16 year for the Aggies. Northwestern State's in town, and that always means it's a little interesting for you because you're a Louisiana native. Yeah. Mike McConathy, him too, he, he's the head coach for the Demons. He's been around for so long, and obviously this opponent, the man on the other sidelines to start your season, you know him very well. Yeah, he's uh, been a fixture at Northwestern State for a while now, and he's been taking that program to heights it's never seen. Uh, NCAA tournament, uh, beat an Iowa team a few years back, and uh, they're good every year, you know, and he does a tremendous job. Uh, we're going to have to be ready to play because it's, it's a team that can give us a lot of problems because they're small, they're quick. Zeke Woodley's a, a, one of the better players in the country who averages 19 to 20 a game for him. He's a senior. They've got an upper-class team, so be some older guys against our young guys, and uh, it'll be an interesting matchup for us. Well, Coach, it's a big week. Congratulations on the signing class. Good luck on Friday night and this season. Thank you. That's Billy Kennedy right here from 12th Man Studios.
Texas A&M and Northwestern State Friday from Reed. It tips off the season.